welcome to another ocean cast tutorial and my name is Tyler and we'll get underway so today I'll go ahead and show you how to use SSH keys with your digital ocean droplet and I will be doing a fresh droplet creation today um, yesterday I went ahead and created or the last tutorial I went ahead and created a um, server right off the bat I did not have no SSH key I just create everything by default but now I want to go back and show you the proper way of creating a droplet again if you have your SSH and you have everything how you want to do it with passwords or you want to install your SSH key manually that is fine uh, but this is another way of setting up your droplet now using an SSH, SSH key is very secure because it's very difficult to brute force an SSH key to figure out what it is um, now a password is very easy to brute force but SSH keys are a little bit more difficult so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to SSH keys and we're going to create this tutorial as if we're on Windows because I currently do not have a Mac and I will not have one within I'm getting be getting one in about a year. So that's not in regards to this tutorial. So let's go ahead and add the SSH key. So what I'll be using in this tutorial is a program called Putty Gen. If you do not have this program, please go to Putty's website um, and download Putty Gen because you will need that if you're on Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on Putty Gen and press run. And I'm going to start right off the bat and generate this key. And you can change this to 2048 to 4096, I'm pretty sure. And it's 2040, it's 20, it's 4096 is the um, other one. So you can go ahead and use that. It has a little bit more security to it. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this key. And what you have to do is you have to move the mouse around the screen to generate randomness. And what this does is it takes the mouse's position and path, and it creates a key based on that. All right, so there we go. Now we have a public key that we will be pasting into the authorized keys file, but one second before we get there. We need to go ahead and save the private key, and I do not want to put a passphrase on it, so I'll press yes. And you can put a passphrase on it, it's just a little bit more security, but I don't really need that since I'm in my own environment. I always have a password on my computer, so I really don't have to worry about that. So the file name I'm going to name it is just private. And then I'm going to save the public key as public. And that's all we have to do here. And actually, we have to copy this key. So we'll do Control A. Well, we have to go to Select All, and we'll go ahead and copy this key. All right. So we no longer need this. So we'll go back to DigitalOcean, and I'm going to enter the name of this key right here. I'm just going to name this Desktop. And again, this is not matter. You can name it anything. You can take keys with you. You can put them on mobile, laptop, or any other device. Even smartphones, if you have an app that you can connect to your just drop it and do SSH commands. Then I'm going to just going to paste in the SSH key and make sure it starts with SSH dash RSA and then it has, starts with like three or four A's depending. So go ahead and create your SSH key. And there we go. We're ready to go. So now I'm going to go back to this create button up here and I'm just going to enter the host name of Acadia. Um, again, this is the one I used in the last tutorial, so everything should be ready to go. I'm going to select the New York 2 region and everything I'm just going to leave it default. And here's the kicker. When we get down to add optional SSH keys, please remember to add desktop. And if you look down here, you'll see no root password will be emailed to you. And this is fine because SSH keys will take care of the whole password thing. And you won't have a password you have to remember anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and create the droplet now. And just by pressing the handy dandy green button. And as we can see, it's creating the server. So I'm impatient for this tutorial, so I'm going to right-click droplets and open a new tab. And we are presented with the server, and it doesn't have an IP address yet. So I'm just going to refresh this, and here's the IP address. So I'm going to copy this IP address, and we no longer need the putty key generator, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to go ahead and open putty now. Alrighty, here we go. So now I'm going to enter the IP address for the server. I'm going to go ahead and go to data and connection. I'm going to put a username of root. This will be default, like you always want to put root there. Um, if you're using this SSH key with root, you're going to want to expand SSH and go to auth, go to browse for the private key and select private.ppk. Press open, go back to session, and you're going to want to name this session. So I'm just going to name this acadia.tjushack.me. And I'm just going to go ahead and give this a different name, such as tutorial at the end. If I can type today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this key. And as we can see, it's been saved. 
So let's go back to DigitalOcean and see what's cooking. Um, our server is still currently creating, um, and it's about seven seconds remaining. So what I'm going to do is pause this video until we are fully created. All right, shabang, here we go. Our server has been successfully created, and we have the active state of our server. So every once in a while, this will bug on me. So when I try to connect it, it might not connect. So I have to, might, I might have to retry this. So we'll just go ahead and say it works. Um, I'm going to make sure you click on the one that we just created and press open. And hey, it works. And this is good. We want to see messages that looks like this. You might not have potential security breach. This is because this is the same um, VPS. It has the same IP address and everything I'd done the previous um, tutorial on. So this is why I'm giving this message is saying that the SSH keys do not match and that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and press yes. And as we can see, we have logged in with the username of root. We authenticated with the public key and that is the name of the key that we created. Um, if we would look at the comment of the key and we can see the system load processes, a bunch of other stuff. So basically everything is back to same and we're all good to go. So if this tutorial has helped you, please go ahead and comment, like the tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more videos as I'll be uploading a lot more and recreating the rest of my videos. And DigitalOcean also has this thing now. If you click on my referral link in the description and you go to that page, you can go ahead and sign up for DigitalOcean services. You will be given a $10 credit by using my referral link. Um, I'm trying to think what else I want to say now. Um, it's been a blast creating these tutorials, and I hope everybody has a great day. Um, and that's about it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.